It's all about escapism at the end of the day. The, the only reason to play the game is because you don't want to be doing something in the real world that you should be doing. Squad Align FPS 5. Squad Align FPS 5. For me, growing up as a child, it was Star Wars Episode 3. Um, and this, EVE Online, is a space game. We float around in spaceships with our friends, zapping the bad guys, who are also played by players, real people who plan and counter plan against you. Right, Fleet Walker FPS 5, jump on contact, hold cloak. Repeat, jump on contact, hold cloak. It's the community spirit that comes about from that that is the hook for a lot of these games. And the hook is where something in the game uh, causes you to identify with the something in the game as something of yours. In EVE Online, you have a character. You choose your hair colour and your eye colour. How many of us wanted to do that, right? Didn't seem to get the opportunity. One of the things in real life is that we all have friends. Sometimes you can want to do something that's radically out of your own character. You just want to do something that's wild. And so it's to a degree, sometimes one of the biggest limitations is other people's perceptions of who you are. If you were to do something radically different um, in front of a friend, your friend will be frightened by you. will actually turn around and say, why is he doing that? Well, why is she acting like that? She doesn't usually act like that. And it's the other, idea, the other person's idea of who you are that limits the field in some sense. I confess to being a complete addict. When I started playing the game, or online games, I spent three months out of six months actually playing the game because it was a little clock on the game that told me how much I've been playing it. But right now I should be filling out my tax return for like the last two years and I'm busy playing Eve instead, even though I've got plenty of hours that I could be doing my tax return. I choose to sit and play a computer game instead of doing the things that I should be doing. Jammer is down. Regroup at the outpost until reinforcements arrive. Copy road, go on position. I quite like it because it's naval combat. It's big guns, big ships. Pew pew. It's all great, you can blow your friends up and get away with it. We go out and stuff as well, and like shoot each other in the woods. So it's all, I suppose, what we do is revolve around physically impairing each other in some sort of manner. And that's how it entertains us, which is like to rough around and tumble a lot. And Eve's an easy way when your mates are like 30, 40 miles away. Um. We run around shooting each other with toy BB guns. If we're not doing that, we'll be playing chess and trying to blow each other up there. If we're not doing that, we'll be on flight simulators shooting each other down. But we're gonna play games. I think the quicker mankind accepts it, that's one of the things that we enjoy doing, the quicker we can get past the stupidity of, in the real world, of things like war, nation, boundary. If the human race was to realize it was, an inter it was a being that liked entertaining, liked enjoying, liked being entertained, then a lot of our suffering and exploitation could pro possibly end quickly after, and we might just get on with the business of learning about each other, living for the trillions of years and becoming more and more advanced and enjoying life. I, I, I did have a, a, a little bit of a, a reality clash with Brad's brother when he shot my ship and then he suffered the same experience at my hands. I thought it was going to do a lot less damage than it did and it just vaporised him and, and I was all like, uh, I didn't mean to do that and he was really, really, really angry because he was screaming out for the comms, don't shoot before I pulled the trigger. But it's just, it's hugely involved and you can get distracted by these tiny little things that are just sparkling off like ideas. It's brilliant. I love it. It is exaggeration because of, there's no way I'd spend that amount of time in the real world, building and making things. I'd, I'd do it just for the uh, money. <laughs> yeah, so I can come home and play a computer game in a fake universe where I build and make stuff. But the stuff in the fake universe 
don't they? It's much shinier than the house. It's really shiny. I mean, look, it is shiny. It actually shines. It's like a like a coin. When you like took over a country and you made a coin, you stamped your head on the coin, and you're a king, and you've got your shiny coin, and everyone looks at that shiny coin and goes, "That's the king." Um, yeah. I've got a shiny ship. <laughs> it makes me feel like I've achieved. 